So, up till now, what we have done is we have added our destinations and then we have added places to visit. And as you can see, that our app is coming together now. Right? It's looking a lot better. Now, next, what I want to do is when I click on a particular place to visit, I want to be able to capture some registration information. So, if a if I was a user and I was interested in visiting this particular place, I want to be able to add my details. So, I want to tell the travel and tours company that this is a place that I'm interested in. Now, to do that, to capture some user information, we'll have to bring in a form right and so to do that what I'll do is I'll add a new spreadsheet I'll sorry I'll add a new sheet that will capture all this form information and I'll rename this sheet to registration register uh, your interest and I'll capture some very basic details right so I'll just capture the name and I'll capture the email address and I'll capture the place uh, you're interested in. Very simple information. Of course, you can experiment by adding a whole bunch of other columns as well. Not a problem at all. Now what I'll do, I will go back to Glide and I will click on a particular place to visit. Now the way we add this form to capture the information is by adding a button so if I search for button and click on the the first button which is just a simple button and what I'll do is in features in the action right so instead of showing a notification I will select a different action type which is to open a form let's see if we can find that so you have your show form button here that's great and what I'll also do I'll change the title for this button the text for this button to say something like uh, register your interest maybe yeah I think this looks pretty good now what I'll do is when you click on the form when you register the form it opens up a form now by default it has just set it to the destination and all the information for this form is set it to the destination sheet that's okay that's what Clyde has by default done it is thinking that we want to add a new destination but what we'll instead do is we'll change this to register your interest now of course it's not showing up here because we did not reload Glide we did not reload the sheet so we'll do that And now that it has reloaded the screen, we'll go back, click on the register button. And now from the drop down, we can see register your interest is there. We'll click on that. And you can see that the, the text boxes have automatically changed, right? Because it has automatically mapped each component to the columns that were in this particular sheet. Right, so, that, so Glide is smart enough to do a whole bunch of things right? and the more you use Glide the more you will realize that a whole bunch of other things has been taken care of without you having to explicitly define them. Now all of this is perfect um, and what I want to do I want to just change the last one right uh, instead of a text entry I want to change this to a drop down. So I want to give users a choice. So choice component allows um, users to select one out of many options. And when I click on that, I will select the source to be places to visit. The values should be the places to visit and it should display the place names in the choice option. Now data now data tells me this section tells me where should this particular data be stored now, i don't want to store it in the name column of the you know register of this particular sheet so i don't want to store it in this column i want to store it in place you're interested in so i'll select that and i'll go back and now you can see that there's an error 
and the reason there's an error is because two different components glide is detected two different components are trying to store information in the same column now of course I don't require this text entry so I'll just click on the X button here and just by doing that the error has disappeared now one more thing I want to do is I want to add some validation which is just saying that the information this this particular fields are required fields so I'll click on this first component and right at the bottom I will select required so this adds a little subtext over here which says that this field is required you can select the minimum length maximum length all of those other fancy details as well I'll do the same for email address because I want this to be required as well and I just realized that the text the label for this particular component is incorrect so I will go back to choice and I will change the title to to say place you're interested in this makes much more sense and I won't keep this as required because at the very least you know at least we are getting some user information so that the the travel agent can then get back to this particular user and, and ask more details you know and then and ask more details and see which place or places this particular user was interested in just like this I have my form ready so now what I'll do is I'll just send some dummy information so I'll say John Smith John dot Smith at example dot com and if I click on the drop down I can see all the places that I entered so I'll say Sky City and I'll click on the submit button the information has been sent amazing now to view this information you know you can always go back to your spreadsheet and see that glide has automatically populated the information right over here amazing right so without without you know, writing some fancy code we were able to capture we were able to develop a form and capture some user information on in our spreadsheet